To start the SSO setup, navigate to your Dashlane Admin Console and select the Single Sign-On tab. From here, uh, we're going to select the Setup Confidential SSO. And once we begin the setup, uh, the first step will be to create an SSO application. Uh, for this, we'll need to navigate to our identity provider, copy the data that we have here, entity ID and uh, ACS URL plus the single sign-on URL, and then just add some members uh, to the SSO application so we can run the tests. Uh, with this being said, let's navigate to Azure and begin the setup. From Azure, let's select Enterprise Applications, and we're going to go ahead and select New Application, and then create your own application. Uh, as for the name, I'm going to name it Dashlane, and the setting is by default integrate uh, any other application, and then just select Create. This step here may take a couple of moments. Okay, we've now finished the creating our SSO application, so let's set up our single sign-on. So let's hear step number two get started. As for the protocol, let's select the SAML protocol. And now we're going to add our entity ID by selecting the step one, click on edit, and just on the line that says entity ID, uh, select add identifier, and let's navigate back to Dashlane to copy the entity ID, which is on the first line, and paste it here. And then we'll add the ACS URL, which we're also going to copy from line number two, paste it here. There's no need to, to add anything on the index box. And last, let's copy our sign on URL and paste it also here. And now press save on the top. As soon as this saving um, configuration is complete, we'll just close this box here. And uh, we're not going to test the SSO in Azure, we're going to test it in Dashlane. So now we're just going to navigate down to number three and where it says Federation Metadata XML, let's click the download button to download our metadata. It's going to, to be generated as an XML file, so it's going to prompt you to open with your browser. Uh, in this case, so we can maintain the formatting, we're going to use a notepad or a text editor to open our, our metadata, and this will keep the formatting and just copy everything and paste it into into the admin console. Uh, for this uh, scenario here, I'm using Windows, so I'm just using uh, a notepad, uh, but you can use any text editor to copy the data. Now that we have the data copied, we'll just paste it here on step two and press the save button. And now the metadata has been added into Dashlane. So for step number three, we need to verify our domain, which is the, which will comprise all the members that can log in using SSO uh, through Dashlane. In this case, we'll be using CRISPRworks.site domain. And uh, if this is correct, if this is not correct for your team, just uh, manually add it, uh, the domain you want, and you can add multiple domains if you need to add more than one. So here we're just going to select verify domain because this is correct. And now we'll need to navigate to our DNS provider. Uh, copy the Dashlane challenge here and just add a text record. So we're going to open our DNS provider, add a new record. Uh, as for the option, it is a text file. We're just going to add the Dashlane challenge here. Navigate back to copy the text value and paste it here on the value tab. So now for the time to live, I'm going to select custom and add 600 seconds here and press save. So the DNS should update fairly quickly and the propagation should be uh, close to immediate. At this point, we can navigate back to Dashlane and just select the verify domain. If it doesn't verify at first, you can just give it a couple of minutes and then try to verify again. So I'm going to click verify and there we go. I have a successful verified message. So our domain is validated. Uh, now we have this option here, which is an additional setting, the just-in-time provision. Uh, basically, it means that once you allow this option, then any of your employees will be able to start uh, using Dashlane without you needing to, to invite them to your plan, so without you needing to do the manual provisioning. Uh, they can do this as long as they're using a validated domain, a verified domain that you've already added here. So uh, this will make sure that only members from your team can actually join your team. 
So we're going to go ahead and activate just-in-time provisioning to make this easier for my for our team. And uh, for the step number four, which is testing our connection, uh, we can actually test this. Uh, this is for all the non-admin members to be able to log in with SSO. But for testing purposes, we can use our admin, the admin of our account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate back to the Azure portal and just assign uh, our admin to the to the SSO application for testing purposes. So let's go back to, to Dashlane here and uh, let's click on uh, users and groups here since we're already in the SAML application, in our SSO application. And we're going to click here on add user and group. And if you have groups, you can already add a group with the members you wish to provide to, to Dashlane uh, for the SSO application. Uh, here, because this is a test account, we're not using groups. So we're going to select users manually by clicking the, the non-selected option here. And I'll just paste in the email you want or the emails you want and select all the users you need for this testing, just using the admin. Click on select and then assign. And now we have a user assigned to our SSO application. We can navigate back to the admin console and run the test. Uh, when we click the test SSO, it's meant to open a tab to authenticate with our identity provider Azure and verify if the SSO connection would be working. So let's click here. Uh, we get an error message here uh, saying that we could not verify this so connection. Um, if this happens, you can contact support, but as a workaround to refresh this, if, in case you encounter this, this error message, just navigate back to any tab here. So we're going to go to the users tab, which will show the members that you currently have on your team. We only have our IT admin and then navigate back to the single sign on to refresh the page and continue the setup for confidential SSO. So here we're going to continue the setup scroll down to our step four where we are testing our SSO connection and click on test SSO. So now we get the expected behavior, which is opening a tab. And here we couldn't see uh, it verified uh, automatically because we're already logged in into our, into our identity provider with our uh, admin account. Uh, in case uh, you're not connected, it just opens the tab, asks you to log in into Azure and you enter your, your SSO credentials, and then you get the, the, the test connection. So as our test was successful here, we can go ahead and move to activate SSO. When we select activate SSO uh, for our verified domains, what will happen is all the non-admin members will be required to use SSO, uh, and they will need to log in using either the browser extension or the mobile application um, that is available on Android and iOS. As for the admins, we'll still need to use uh, a master password to log in. Uh, that is mandatory. For testing purposes, you can use the admin uh, to test. So let's complete the final step and go ahead and activate SSO for our team by pressing activate SSO. Yes, activate SSO. And there you have it. The setup is complete. SSO is now activated for all SSO members. You can also verify here that SSO is active. Thank you for watching.